If I were a betting man and you asked me who's going to win the most games in the Pac-12 the next three seasons, I put my money pretty confidently on Oregon. Mario Cristobal and company got a good thing going there in Austin, fresh off a Rose Bowl win, top five finish in the Pac-12. We got James Voss on the line from Austin Zoo to talk up the Ducks. James, how you doing tonight? I'm doing well, Mark. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Always a good time. Glad to uh, have you on to break down Oregon football. Before we move on to a ton of uh, personnel changes, both in the coaching staff that is key and, of course, uh, personnel losses to the team, let's talk about this Rose Bowl. That had to be exciting. Very good football game, some crazy plays, and a 28-27 final as uh, the defense held on and Justin Herbert in the running game put together a drive to keep it away from Wisconsin. Yeah, it was a freaky game, unlike a lot of Oregon games, at least in the way that they had won it on offense throughout the season, but not unlike a bunch of other Oregon games this past year uh, in the way that the defense played. The defense kept them in it uh, every step of the way, kept Wisconsin uh, having to change their their game around. They Wisconsin went to some uncharacteristic fly sweeps that started really working, and then Andy Valos and the defense really caught on to that. And unlike the rest of the year in a lot of ways too, it was Justin Herbert's legs that uh, found its way to the end zone and led the Ducks to victory. All right, we got James Voss on the line talking Oregon football as the Ducks again conclude a 12-2 and campaign, Pac-12 champion, Rose Bowl champion. Outside of the national champion, that's about as good as it gets, winning a conference and winning the Rose Bowl. Um, the offense could look a lot different in uh, 2020. Of course, Justin Herbert's going to be the reason people gravitate to that statement uh, because he's the face of the franchise. But an offensive coordinator, um, there needs to be a change made there. Joe Moorhead not necessarily show that he is uh, the leader or CEO of a program in the SEC at Mississippi State. Some mixed reviews there, but you don't care about that. The guy can call plays, run an offense, and put it all together on that side of the ball, and he may be coming your way. Yeah, that's what it's sounding like in a lot of different ways. Joe Moorhead is the informal, unofficial offensive coordinator for the foreseeable future in Eugene. It hasn't been announced by the University of Oregon yet, Nothing from Mario Cristobal on that front in terms of an official hiring announcement, but all reports are saying that it's nearing becoming written in ink. And I think there's a lot of things to be excited about. Obviously, he, he had a couple of bumps in the road at Mississippi State. I personally don't know if he was given as much of a chance as maybe he should have been, especially at an uh, under-resourced, for all intents and purposes, SEC West School. Uh, that's the toughest conference, the toughest division and the toughest con conference in the nation. Uh, and, and Joe Moorhead probably should have been given a little bit more time. But, hey, if he's going to bring the same sort of success that he found at Penn State over to Eugene, then I'm pretty excited that maybe he didn't get that much of a chance down in Starkville. Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, talking up the Ducks, Oregon for 2020 with, uh, of course, personnel losses, uh, starting with uh, Justin Herbert, uh, get a set for 2020 in regards to um, who you're losing that is key beyond Herbert, uh, because we've talked him to death. Everybody knows, hey, you're losing a, a potential starting quarterback in the NFL. That's that's big news. That's a big deal to replace him. But in regards to, I know we talked about before we rec started recording, that the guys that you're retaining that could have opted to go to the draft is almost the biggest news here. Uh, just to uh, you know, highlight some of those guys on defense and then also maybe some key players here and, here and there that uh, you're going to really be eyeing in spring camp to, to fill the gaps. Yeah, I think if we, we want to start with the people that are staying on, uh, four juniors turning into seniors on defense uh, decided to all gather together and make an announcement formally through the University of Oregon that they were staying for their senior seasons. That was uh, Diamondo Lenore and Thomas Graham Jr. from the secondary and Austin Filu and nose guard Jordan Scott. Uh, they all decided that they're coming back for their senior years, just like Justin Herbert said he would. And just like Sabrina Ionescu, they even mentioned on the women's basketball team announced that she would forgo her uh, 
opportunity to head to the draft and come back and do something special for their senior years. And it paid off for Herbert and it's paying off right now for UNESCO. And those four especially are looking to be huge leaders on the defensive end of the ball that you can't really even define how valuable it is to have leaders uh, two in the secondary and two up front like that uh, to come back for the defensive side of the football and under Andy Avalos, who only looks to get better and the defense that only looks to reload. Obviously, we lose our middle linebacker, our leader, our personality on defense, Troy Dye, a huge heart of the football team and, and a long time that he put in to that program. And that's, that's four years of going from four and eight to 12 and two. Uh, that's, that's also hard to, to write up, but I think there's a lot of leadership. There's a lot of personality on the defensive end of the football that is a lot to be excited about. And if we want to talk about who we're losing on offense, uh, other than Justin Herbert, we're losing four seniors. Oregon is losing four seniors on the offensive line uh, who are all named All-Americans in different publications in, in their own right, recognized by uh, Pro Football Focus uh, in their own right. Uh, but the one often starting offensive lineman that we do retain uh, is Penny Sewell, who is the Outland Trophy winner, who was only a sophomore last year. Uh, and uh, he will be coming back for his junior year. And, and then uh, likely, if he's smart, he'll be declaring for the NFL draft in 2021. So uh, he's got it, probably one more year with Oregon. And uh, hopefully and, and he'll look to be the leader on the offensive line and maybe even a two-time Outland Trophy winner. And uh, Jordan Scott, 32 tackles last year. Last year. Uh, Lenore chipped in with 46, two and a half tackles for loss and a pick on defense. Uh, of course, Justin Herbert moves on after uh, tossing 32 touchdowns and only six picks and winning the Rose Bowl in the Pac-12. Uh, Tyler Shook threw 15 passes last year. Not bad, three touchdowns. He keeps that ratio up. He'll be doing something. Uh, but just your thoughts about uh, his capability of replacing Herbert. Yeah, Tyler Shuck is uh, uh, one of the more experienced backups that Oregon has maybe brought in in the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, they've had Justin for four years, and uh, he proved to be invaluable uh, as, as a leader and continuity uh, uh, conduit for, for this team. But Tyler Shuck, uh, in the times that he's come in, in early in the year against Nevada, and late in the game in a blowout against USC where he really showed out. He really, that was probably his most successful game of the year. Most uh, uh, eyes were upon that victory where uh, he was throwing touchdown passes. He was running out and blocking on run plays, blowing USC Trojan players up and uh, really looking like a reassuring next man up for uh, following a guy like Justin Herbert. And I think there's a lot of excitement around the program around him. And he's been, uh, he redshirted his freshman year studying the offense and studying under the tutelage of Justin Herbert. And uh, then this season uh, being the backup, the reliable, you're not too scared if he has to go in kind of guy. And uh, very excited in, in to see what he has coming up for him. Hopefully Joe Moorhead sees just as much good in him as the rest of uh, Oregon Nation sees in him. Uh, and uh, he's going to have a lot to look ahead as uh, they open the season with some two very tough home games. We've got James Voss on the line from Autzen Zoo. Please uh, run over there and join him and uh, the rest of the staff covering Oregon football. Uh, early enrollees on campus, that would be eight in Eugene. Um, Noah Sewell, you, you mentioned Panay Sewell. Noah Sewell. Uh, the number one recruit in the class that signed and on campus uh, of a recruiting class that ranked uh, for a second straight year, number one in the Pac-12. Any thoughts about uh, some of these uh, guys that are getting their workouts in early? Yeah, obviously, uh, Noah Sewell might be one of the most uh, uh, touted Oregon recruits in the last couple of years, uh, right next to Kayvon Thibodeau, who's going to be in front of him on the defensive line as a true sophomore. And Noah Sewell will look to step into that spot that Troy Dye is leaving open and uh, become a young leader on this team and, and learn from the seniors that are sticking around uh, around him. And uh, luckily, he's enrolling early, learning from his, his leader, 
and uh, uh, electric football player of an older brother, and he'll be an insane asset on the defensive side of the football, but also something that he showed in the All American, the Adidas All American game, and throughout his time in high school as a running back. Uh, he may be a short yardage uh, option for the Ducks uh, coming into 2020. Uh, something that may surprise some teams, may not surprise some teams, uh, but sort of be a little bit of a William Perry situation in, in goal line running plays. Sewell, the top 25 player overall, regardless of position, number two is an inside linebacker uh, for this 2020 class that ranks number one in the Pac-12 again for a second consecutive season. Mario Cristobal beating down that recruiting path.